coming up, find out how to make a fantastic fizzing wizard's cauldron. Build a mini beach in your own backyard. The ultimate test of strength for some tiny little eggs. And creepy crawly spiders. Love them or leave them. Ooh, Taryn, are you scared my big spider will eat you for dinner? Nope. <laughs> I love them. Some of my best friends are spiders. <laughs> and I'm not the only one who thinks so. Isn't he beautiful? This is Rex, my eight-legged friend. I think spiders are the most amazing creatures on the planet. Oh, boy. Looks like Nicole is not a fan of spiders. You don't need to be afraid of him, Nicole. Here, have a close look. He won't hurt you. He just wants to play. OK, time to prove to Nicole that spiders really are beautiful creatures. Look at that web. See how talented a builder that spider is? Spider webs are stronger than metal and stretchier than an elastic band. Don't you think that's amazing? Hmm, she's not convinced. Well, you know spider webs are sticky. Have you ever wondered why spiders don't stick to their own webs? Come on, I'll show you. Good old Fraser. He fancies himself as a wizard. Nice wand. Nice cape. Shame about the cauldron. And his magic spell. Looks like it's smelling disaster. I think he needs some help. For a start, let's get a better cauldron. It's here somewhere. Ah. Out go Mum's bulbs. Excuse me. And what do you think of that? Not exactly blown away. Right then, back in a jiffy. Black paint. A quick squirt. A bit of Michelangelo magic. And before your very eyes, a ceramic pot plant turns into a top of the line cauldron. Okay, show us your stuff, Fraser. Bat wings, snake's blood, and tap water. Right. Let's see some magic action then. In it goes. Stir it around. And... Nothing. Hey, I know just how to turn this lame act into a potion with real pizzazz. Can't wait to see that. And I really can't wait to see how Michael's going to persuade poor old Nicole that spiders make the perfect pets. I'm trying to convince Nicole that spiders are amazing animals. So I've decided to show her why they don't get caught up in their own sticky webs. OK, let's take a piece of this sticky tape and pretend it's a spider's web. Now walk your fingers across it as if you were a tiny bug. Aha! Caught! You are gonna be dinner. Let's try that again. But this time, Nicole will have spider fingers. Dip your fingers in that oil and try again. Hey, now you're a slippery spider stalking across its web. Pretty clever of the spider, don't you think? The tiny tips of a spider's legs are oily and that keeps them from sticking to their own web. But there's another even cooler reason why spiders don't get stuck to their own webs. And if I'm going to show Nicole why, we'll need plenty of these. <laughs> Fraser's poor old magic potion has been a real dud, but things are about to change. I've got a bottle of vinegar, more water, and some baking soda. But first, a disappearing act. Sorry, Fraser, but the real magic is about to begin. In goes some water. Fraser.
Fraser, if you please. A few drops of your green food colouring. And now a bunch of baking soda. Into the cauldron. Stir it up, Fraser. Looking good. Now for the vinegar. Stand by for this. Whoa! Sensational! Now that's what I call a magic potion. Lara's magic potion is really a bit of simple kitchen chemistry. When vinegar and baking soda are mixed, they quickly react to create bubbles of carbon dioxide gas. Because the gas is not as dense as the water, the bubbles quickly float upwards and cascade out of the cauldron. Great potion, Fraser. But we've made a bit of a mess. Oh well, I'm sure Mum will be able to make it disappear. <laughs> I'm with those guys. Mums are great at making messes disappear. Hmm, don't know about that, Taryn. But I do know Ayman and Izar are about to find out how a beach can disappear. Izar and I love living on a tiny island. Our beach is always changing. Yesterday the sand was high like that. Now it's flat. I wonder why the sand moves so much. There's only one way to find out. We'll make our own beach. OK, the Ayman and Iza Beach Construction Company is open for business. Our paint roller container is just the right shape for a beach. I'll tip sand into the container. We'll cover the bottom, making the sand thicker at the shallow end. I think it needs a bit more. Good, that's our beach. Now Iza can pour in the sea. In the deep end, Slowly. Perfect. Now I'll use this banana leaf to make waves. I'll move it back and forth, just like the waves wash up and down the beach. Look, our beach sand is starting to move. The waves are washing the sand back into the ocean. So that's how our beach keeps changing. Beaches continually change their shape depending on the strength of the waves. Big waves will suck sand from the beach and wash it out to sea. This is called erosion. Sometimes the beach sand is dumped offshore, making a sandbar some distance out. Then over time, waves will wash the sand back onto the beach again, building it up. So that's why our beach looks different every day. Even on Ayatani Island, nothing stays the same. I've just been out to the shops to buy a few groceries for Mum. Oh no! They packed the eggs at the bottom. Surely they must have broken with that heavy pumpkin sitting on top of them. Hang on, not broken at all. Not even one. Maybe eggs aren't as fragile as I thought. Just how tough are you, little eggs? Time for an experiment. I need these four egg cups and four brave eggs. I'd better head outside for this, just in case there's a mess. I'll set up the four eggs in egg cups on some paper towel. Now we need something heavy to put on top of them. My school books are certainly heavy. They'll be perfect. I'll just try putting one book on first. Easy does it. Yeah, they seem to be taking the weight OK. Good eggs. Let's try more weight. I'll put the rest of my school books on top. I can hardly carry all these books to school each day. But the eggs seem to be able to hold them up easily. That is quite a big book stack. And it's all resting on the top of four little eggs. The dome shape of the eggs means that the weight of the books is spread out along the width of each egg, instead of pushing down on any one spot. The strength of the dome shape makes it perfect for use in building. Architects have used the dome to hold up roofs for hundreds of years. Cool! Eggs are a lot harder to squash than I thought. Oops, I think I just found their weakness. Ha! I knew those eggs would come to a sticky end. And while we're on the topic of sticky, why don't we see how Michael's going with his sticky spider webs? 
Today I introduce Nicole to my spidey friendly Rex. Then I try to show her how clever spiders are to build such complicated webs. I even explain to her that their oily feet stop them from getting caught in their own webs. But she's still not a spider lover like me. I'm going to teach Nicole more about spider web construction. We're building our own web using sticky tape inside this door frame. Nicole is sure to like spiders when she knows how clever their webs are. We started by running a strip down the middle of the frame from top to bottom. Then we added cross threads which all meet in the middle. Now here's the clever bit. We swapped to the other side of the web to build up the circular rows onto the cross threads. The sticky side of the tape is facing the other direction now. So only some of the threads are sticky from each side. When a spider is walking around on its web, it keeps the non-sticky threads. Clever, eh? OK, let's pretend these cotton balls are little insects that fly into the web. Crash! Into the web they go. See? Some of the cotton balls stick. Those ones are Spidey's dinner. Some of them escape because they flew into parts of the web that aren't sticky. A spider's web is constructed with liquid silk. One kind of silk dries so that it's not sticky, while another kind stays sticky. Spiders know which strands are which. And with very careful footwork, they avoid the sticky strands. If they do step on the sticky parts, the oil on their feet saves the day. OK, let's see if Nicole has learnt to love spiders. Oh, well. Some people just don't appreciate genius, do they, Rex? Do you think that's the end of Michael's attempts to turn Nicole into a spider lover? I don't know, Dana, but I do know it's the end of another show. See you next time.